society so what is society is there anything separate society where it is available can we go and purchase it what is the rate per kilo society is it a commodity society <laughs> no so there is no separate thing called society a group of people together we call it is society otherwise very society the question is whether society affects or gives hindrance or give blockades or disturbs the seekers if at all how okay first of all there is no society we only assume it's like we say it's a garden there is a garden there are only individual plants together called garden we say same thing society group of individuals that means individual only exists not society the individual is most important thing but we call society is there any society and whether the society gives a hindrance and disturbances for seekers for seeking the path of liberation okay as you imagine there is society and we imagine thousand and one things and make a formats general formulas when everyone is separate and unique how a general format can fix and govern a person rule a person how awkward it will be how it may be fixing into individuals approach towards the life but the question arises whether the society give hindrance for the seekers okay is there anything called group seeking there is no such thing seeking means individual when the seeking is individual how come an imaginary thing called society be a hindrance then why the question arises whether the society gives hindrance or not it's only idea we have format of ideas for example if you seek you may become a sanyasin you may become a saint you may lose your family you may go out of the family you may hate people you may hate family you may hate country you may run away from the living place living town and you may become an escapist these are the ideas created by the society that's why it always give alertness to the seekers don't go very deep into seeking seek only 10% seek only 5% keep reserve if you go very deep into seeking much more trouble will come be careful the society the so called society start advising the seekers be careful be cautious you may have to lose many thing you may lose your power of earning you may lose the power of acquiring many things and you may renounce many thing after all what is the use of renunciation such kind of alertness are coming from all around the society the so called society so naturally 
In the beginning, the seekers are little bit disturbed. We call this is a Asura Guru's teaching. There are teachings from the Deva Gurus, Atma Gurus, Sat Gurus. Parallelly, there are teachings from Asura Gurus. <laughs> the so-called societies, wrong advices. Never meditate, never seek. See, uh, see, we are all not seeking anything, but we are still happy. See, we are keep on earning money. We are keep on earning power. We are keep on earning thousand and one things. See, we are absolutely happy. Why you want to torture yourself by seeking? After all, what you are going to seek, finally? Hmm? Better you seek money. <laughs> Better you seek power. Better you seek thousand and one things, worldly things. Which are all visible to you. What is going to be that in the invisible thing you are searching for, seeking for? <laughs> so don't go. Maybe five minutes a day you seek. Reserve yourself. Don't seek very deeply. Alertness. You know? Definitely the beginners who have just started the seeking will be disturbed, quite natural. For that only, we keep on telling, always have satsangs. The sadhu sangamam, that's the only way the seekers can be protected from the wrong asura gurus teachings the so-called society teachings. I am not condemning the society itself. I love society. After all, society is made up of people, individual. But I am only saying the common formats, the common idea which they already created, predetermined, not ready to look into the truth, not ready to look into the fact, not ready to look into the reality. That's only I am condemning. I am not condemning the society. I am for society. I am not against society. I am only giving caution to the seekers, especially those who have just started seeking, the beginners. Once the seekers have traveled, unseen, unexperienced, certain things in the path of spirituality. They are very much confident. No Asura Guru's teachings can change them. They are so confident of their affirmity. I'm talking about only the beginners. The confusion will come. Am I doing a wrong thing? Am I wasting my time? in seeking some invisible thing. What is the use of it? Such things will be keep on rolling in the mind of the, the new seekers, the beginners. For that only I am speaking this. I am giving a clear cut warning to them, caution to them. Be careful. Just see the truth, the reality around the teaching and we will know there is no fact in it. So, it's quite common the so-called society Asura Gurus keep on teaching never do this. One has to be confident enough one has to concrete oneself to keep on moving in the path of seeking and searching till he reaches to the point where he gets the right experiences of the seeking. Okay. And this is one point of view. The other point of hindrance, hindrance point of view is that mostly 
it is not the asura gurus from the outside the so called society it's always the hindrance comes from within the seeker's mind itself creates problem creates hindrance creates blockages that's the most important thing the one part of mind says okay you meditate the other part of the mind says no no don't meditate dilemma yes and no the combined answer morning says okay you meditate let's meditate even when the evening comes no no why we must meditate why we must seek stop seeking so now the hindrance comes from within of course this hindrance comes because of the asura guru's teaching that settle down in the mind and reflects that means we are we have allowed the asura gurus to live within the mind within our mind it gives a caution sitting in, inside the mind keep on telling morning says or oh, meditate evening says don't meditate utterly a confusion this is the greatest hindrance why we waste time instead of sitting and meditating we can do 1001 things hmm? or we can sleep happily why we must unnecessarily meditate so this confused ideas coming within the seeker's mind itself many time the seeker has to conquer this by having a authentication a conformity then only is possible and take the blockages the path of seeking is the most important thing after all seeking is nothing but taking all the blockages in the path and realization happens of its own accord we are not going to find something new it's already there only thing what we are going to do what the seekers are really doing is that removing all the obstacles in the path of seeking that is the true meaning for seeking the seeker means taking away all the obstacles in the path that is seeking and the remaining thing comes automatically reveal itself